Hello, what is up YouTube? So, I need a desk for my 3D printer so I can put my 3D printer on top of it. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a, I'm, I'm gonna make a desk from scratch. We got wood. We got wood. We got a saw. We got some nails right there. We got that thing. Triangle. We got everything we need right here. Well, I also have the board. What? You want to know more about that board? So here's the side story of that board. So we went to Home Depot to go get a cut, but on this Home Depot, the saw didn't work. So then we had to load it back in the car. And right there, that's my friend Ulysses. He's pretty cool. He's a Mexican, so he's pretty cool. And then we went to a different Home Depot. And this, luckily, in this Home Depot, the saw actually did work. So then we got it cut. And then we pretty much left that Home Depot. And yeah, that's actually the end of this story. Okay, back to the video. Uh, inside my house. But yeah, let's get to making it. Also, I have no idea what I'm doing, but uh, we're gonna make the best of it, and hopefully the desk comes out all right. So I hear you need safety glasses when you cut wood, but luckily enough, I already have my safety glasses on, so that's no problem for me. Wow, I did it. I did it. And you forgot to add that you messed up and you ran out of wood, so you had to go back to Home Depot. Uh, yeah. We gotta put it in the car. Kind of a tight fit, you know? It reaches almost all the way to, like, my radio. Alright, we got the we got the new wood right here. We got, we got the MDF board now out here with us. We also got the, uh, the studs, future desk legs that we're gonna use. What do you expect? You literally screwed it into the other piece of wood. Someone take that drill away from this man. My screw broke. Have I mentioned I have no idea what I'm doing? Yeah, we can tell. Okay, so the other drill wasn't really working out for me too well. And that could be just because I'm weak. Boy, you weak as crap. Nah, but I got a better drill. Right there, and as you can see, I'm sure you remember. I was having a hard time getting these screws into the wood, and here's the hole from where the screw actually broke off, and here's the new screw that I screwed in using the impact drill. And as you can see, there's a bit of wood cracking around it. Uh, I don't know if that's a big deal or not, but yeah, let's get back to working on this desk. Desk? I know I said take that drill away from that man, but I didn't mean give him an impact drill instead. Hi, so uh, my phone died. Cool. So we uh, lost some footage. If you're wondering what happened while well, my phone died. No, I don't care. Please fast forward the crap out of this part. So you can see a little bit of wobble. A lot in that one. Actually. I guess it's suspected that that one wobbles a lot since you literally broke a screw inside of it. That one's actually pretty sturdy. Oh, this one actually has a lot of wobble as well. But uh, what's next is that I'm going to put some, according to the YouTube video I saw, the guy put another stud from here and from there. And he put them in both sides. So there's going to be another one from going from here to there just to help them be a lot sturdier. And yeah, actually, let's, uh, let's try to see if it could stand. You know, let's turn it over, see if it can stand, support itself. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's actually, well, it wobbles a little bit, but it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, actually. It actually wobbles a lot to the side. It's not that bad. But uh, yeah, let's put the, the other studs in, and hopefully that would fix some of the wobble. And I think we should be done after that. Yeah, let's get to it. Oh, I need to cut those pieces of wood as well. Okay, so we got two sides of it done now, so now we're gonna flip the desk so we can work on the other side. Now, most of this video is it's probably me just screwing wood. <sighs> I guess I gotta settle for wood. Settle on this dick. So here's the desk. Uh, as you can see, or if I push it forward, it doesn't really move. It doesn't really move anymore. But if I move it to the sides, 
Yeah, it moves a lot. Yeah, we're gonna put a stud that runs parallel to the link. Parallel to the board. I can tell you didn't major in communication. And that should hopefully fix it. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> okay, so we got that piece of wood that goes across. Yeah, we can't actually see what you're talking about. And now we do the, uh, the wobble check. So as you can see, it still wobbles a little bit. It's crap, literally crap. Bro, shut up, make me, no balls. Wait, what are, what are you doing with that? No, 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 no. Well, now that that guy is gone, please enjoy the rest of this video. From that way to this way, sadly, it doesn't wobble when I push it that way, however. So it's just this way, this way, it's only this way and that way that we're having a problem. And I read online that you gotta make triangles if you wanna fix it. And well, I kinda wanna try fixing it. Okay, so right here I realized that the saw can't cut all the way through at a 45 degree angle. So that meant I had to get creative. And basically I just cut half of it at one of the 45 degree angles and the other half at the other 45 degree angles. And because of that, it led to some questionable cuts. But hey, we may do, so whatever. Oh, oh, I got, I got a splinter. Okay, time for the final test. So if you remember, if you push it this way, I push it forward. Okay, so there's no wobble. Now, when I push it side to side, that's when there was a problem. So let's do it. There's. <laughs> There's no give. It's perfect. Co awesome. Cool. I made a desk. So I guess let's recap now. So things that I learned from this was that it's not as hard to make a desk as I thought it was, but it's not as easy either as I was expecting it to be. I also probably learned that pilot holes were probably the better option when drilling into the wood because I was having a lot of issues when I would drill with a regular drill and then I got this up the upgrade to an impact driver or an impact drill and that made screwing into the wood a lot easier compared to when I had the drill and I also learned that triangles are very nice this the triangle joint whatever I don't know what it is that triangular thing right there it's amazing it pretty much fixed the wobble in this desk and yeah. Also, shout out to Ulysses who let me use this impact drill as well as the other drill because I didn't have one. So yeah, without you, this desk would not have been possible. So thank you again. Also, this video was sponsored by MO Designs, a graphic design company. Uh, they have an Instagram, go follow them there. Now let's give this desk its birthdays. What was today's date? Today's the 510. So it's birthday is the 5th, the 10th, 2021. We made desk boy. <laughs> and right here is the finished product in my room. As you can see it doesn't look that bad. There's a 3D printer right there. And yeah, not too shabby if I say so myself. And that's the end of this video. If you like this video, give it a like. You know, please do so. It helps the channel grow, and I would like the channel to grow. Uh, if you want to keep following what I'm doing, then please consider subscribing. And also, if you have any comments, you know, whatever you want to comment down down below, please do so. I like reading the comments. And yeah, that's the end of this video. And I'll end up seeing y'all in the next one. There's literally a splinter in my thumb. I got the splinter out. All right, let's test it. <laughs> Good as a desk if I can't lay on. <sighs> I'm really glad that it's not breaking underneath me. <laughs> God, it really took me that long to make this desk. I was expecting it to take me like two hours. Now I gotta clean up.
It was a nice experience though. I think I learned a lot. I'm not sure how the video is going to turn out. I don't really record this kind of stuff. So the angles might be bad. But hopefully people watch it either way.